guys, today I'm going to teach you what the double lift is and a special type of double lift. Now a double lift is turning over two cards um, and making it seem like it's only one card. Now double lifts are used for many reasons in lots and lots of card tricks. Um, for example, if you wanted to control a spectator's card to the top of the deck, say the jack of hearts, it's on top. The spectator doesn't know that and you want to convince them it's not on top. So what you can do is a double lift and show that the card is not on top and you can also show it's not on the bottom. All right. So basically the double lift is very useful for a lot of card tricks and card effects. Let's get into the strike double lift. That is what I'm going to teach you today. This is one of the easiest double lifts and let's get over what it looks like. So this is the strike double lift. All right, showing the joker, turning it back over. In reality, the top card is actually the ace of spades. So that is the strike double lift. Once again, let's get over it, go over it. And that is the joker. And in reality, the top card is the ace of spades. See, the joker's in the second position. So let's talk about how to do the strike double lift. What you're gonna do is start by holding the deck in the mechanics grip, like so. So your thumb is on the side indexing uh, right on top, followed by the three fingers. And what you're gonna do is put your thumb on the center of the deck. So from here to here. What you wanna do is push down. And what this will do is you can see it'll, it slightly bends the cards. So you get this nice um, bending over here on this side, right? Now this, what this will allow you to do is once you press down, you're going to come over with your other hand and use your index finger or third finger. It doesn't really matter. But uh, use either finger to riffle up. So run your finger up the deck until you feel two cards. Now, I can't really explain what two cards feels like as you'll have to experience this yourself. But what you want to do when you press down, just riffle off slightly, maybe the very top of the deck until you feel two cards. So in this case, I know I have two cards under my finger. Right. So once again, you press down, come over with your index finger near the bottom. That's what I do. And I move my pinky out of the way, insert my index, and I know this is two cards right here. So you're slight, you're just uh, riffling up until you feel two cards. This is two cards. Now I bring my middle finger in and bring it below the cards, the two cards, like so. My thumb just goes on the corner. And now I can remove this thumb like so, and drag these two cards to the side of the deck, like so. So now I'm gonna flip the cards over, and as they reach the edge of the deck, you're simply going to let go, like that. If you're just starting off as a beginner, you can just drag it to the side and guide these cards along. So guide these cards down onto the deck. Now, a good thing about doing a double lift is when you turn the card over and place it down, you can leave it slightly outjogged, all right? So in this case, the two cards are outjogged from the deck. Or if you want to, you can in-jog it. It doesn't really matter. But in this case, what you're gonna do is push up on these two cards, and that will allow you to get a pinky break, okay? I'll get into uh, more in depth of what a pinky break is in a later video. But if you outjog it, you're also gonna do the same thing. You just um, push down on it this time, very slightly, and that'll allow you to get that pinky break. So the good thing about doing this double lift is when you turn the cards over, you can do the same thing. Just insert your finger, uh, index finger along the side of the deck, put your middle finger on the bottom, thumb on top, slide to the side, and place it down. So for the more experienced people, what you wanna do is riffle up very slightly, get two cards, insert your middle finger on the bottom and your thumb on the top, drag the cards to the side, and as it reaches the side like this, let it fall. So guide those two cards down by pushing with the middle finger like this, like you push it and then it falls, the double falls on the deck. Now what I like to do in this case is because um, because the concave or the face up cards are facing a different direction than the face down cards, there's gonna be a slight um, bend to the cards. So it's gonna be easy to get that break that you want, right? Underneath two cards. 
So what I like to do sometimes is not even get that break. You can just do the strike double lift again, like so, and turn it back over. Or what I like to do is push over those two cards as one card and then flip it over. That's pretty risky, but if you're willing to do it, then it's a good option. Push two, turn over. I'll show you that double lift in a later video. I think it's one of the most convincing out there. But this video was the strike double lift. I hope that helped. Once again, I'll show you what it looks like. The queen of spades, and that is it. The top card is actually the ace of hearts. So that is it. Thanks for dropping ace. Um, that is the strike double lift. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.